Okay, so we are converging to an answer. It's got to be answer five, right? 13 grams times the number of atoms in a mole divided by 56 grams per mole, right? So it's just a it's sort of just a unit conversion problem. If you want the number of atoms, you can say that it's going to be the mass, 13 grams. You have one mole for every 56 grams. That's what the atomic number means for iron. And then we can just convert moles into number of atoms. So 6 times 10 to the 23 divided by one mole. That gives you the number of atoms. And so if you want that times the magnetic dipole moment of the entire bar magnet, You'd have mu of one atom times that. And so we get this all multiplied by 1 times 10 to the minus 23 amp meters squared. So work it out. What are you going to get? Calculate it. What do you get for the... Okay, so 1.4, and the units are amp meters squared. You get an ordinary looking number because you have a dipole moment that's on the order for per atom, that's on the order of 10 to the minus 23, but then you multiply that by the number of atoms in a mole, which is 10 to, 10 to the 23, and they, they cancel out, and you get a number that's kind of ordinary looking. Now, how can you check this? How would you verify whether or not this is true? What experiment could you do to figure out the, dip, the magnetic dipole moment of a bar magnet? What would it involve? Okay, let's calculate the field strength. How would you calculate the field strength of a bar magnet? With a compass, right. We've done this with uh, currents, so we could do this with a compass. If you had a compass, and let's say uh, ge uh, geographic north is that way, so it, if you just have a compass, it's going to be pointing in that direction. And then I bring, now there's a lot of norths running around here, but I bring the magnetic north pole of the bar magnet near the compass. What's going to happen to the compass needle? It's going to deflect, and it's going to deflect that way, right? So when I bring the bar magnet nearby, it has something that looks like that, right? I could then do exactly what you've done for homework a couple times now, measure that angle, Use that angle to figure out the magnetic field due to the bar magnet. And then once we have uh, the magnetic field of the bar magnet, if we assume it's a dipole, we can say that the magnetic field of a dipole is mu naught over 4 pi, 2 mu over z cubed. But measure how far away it is. I've got the field strength. I could solve for the dipole moment. Okay? And this is something you're going to do in lab. Not, uh, let's see, next week. Yeah, I think you'll, you'll actually do this next week. And you should find, just you know, sort of keep this number in your notes and see if you find something that's at least close to this or on the sort of same order of magnitude. So, again, she's showing that the, a very simple model, you know, microscopic calculation leads to something that we can predict and actually measure uh, in a simple laboratory experiment. Okay? Questions? Okay.